guys and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I'm Astrath and I welcome you to this. CSR Studios presents... Blood. They present blood. Our feature presentation, everybody! Yes. Uh, feature presentation. Welcome, folks, to Let's Play Dead Pixels. Oh, yes. I did this for, um, what was it? I believe my uh, 100,000 video views special and uh, did a full run. So it's finally time for me to do a Let's Play of this. Made by uh, CSR Studios, currently on Steam right now. And uh, I picked this up about a year ago and, uh, yeah, played it a bit, then stopped. So I think I'll get back to playing it a bit, I think. So let's new game this. And let's go for Dead Pixels, our first mode. And we'll go on normal. July 15th, 1983. New Hexington. A toxic waste spill in the chemical plant finds its way into the water supply. Three days later, the recently deceased rise from their graves. Those they kill also return from the dead. Within the week, only 5% of the people can be considered alive. The army is sent to clean up the city, but were forced to pull back. The city was put under quarantine until a solution can be found. A group of survivors on the other side of city have a way out. It's time to leave the city. Using a map, you have found the quickest way to the survivors. But first, you will have to fight your way through the Horde. The Horde! Yes, game made in 2000, uh, 2011, actually. Technically, this counts as an oldish game. But it's very nice. 20 streets away from Salvation, Marcus Street. Uh, 14... Yeah, pretty much nearly 3 o'clock. Zombies killed none. Let's fix that, shall we? So, we, you, we move with the right analog stick. Or the left analog stick. There it is. Fire using the left trigger. Don't need to do that just yet. Throw a grenade using left bumper. Throw a grenade right using right bumper. Melee, use B. To use your currently equipped item, use X. Go To go to your inventory, press Y or back. Cycle through weapons, use the D-pad right and D-pad left. Cycle through items, use D-pad up. Cycle through grenades, use D-pad down. To go uh, into... What? To go into your building? That grammar right there, but still. I'll let it slide. To go into your building! It's not even the right your, but never mind. Use a, use a next to clear, to a clear door. Trailers are marked with green arrows, thank you. Right, we just got ourselves some disinfectant and a bot the two bottles of water. So, here is our guy, right there. Uh, we have no money right now, we are poor. We only have a gun with 40 ammo in it. Uh, so that's our health, 100 out of 100. Uh, we can get more with upgrades. And how we heal ourselves is using a med kit. Um, our load, as you can see there, we can increase that by increasing our strength at traders. Um, but once you go above 100, or pretty much above your maximum, so let's say I went to like 101, I would be overbearing. I could still sort of, let's say, move, but um, the only problem with that would be that, uh, oh, what's the one I'm looking for? That's a trader. I don't want to go there yet just yet. Search house. Small med kit, cuddly toy, and bog roll. Brilliant. Yeah, I will just be slower. And if you go, I believe it's, oh, I'm trying to think now. I think it's uh, over, like, um, full and a half, so, let's, so that's like 150, you stop completely. So it's always good to empty your shit at points. You know, let's sell, let's sell my valuables I don't need. You will pay $144 for toilet paper. It's fine by me. Everything seems to have gotten worse, but that's fine. Right, so, here are our upgrades. We have max health, which obviously increases your max health. Running speed, which increases, well, obviously your running speed. Weapon skill gives you more damage with your weapon. Melee skill, we'll go into about that later. Uh, what does luck do again? Increase the chance of good things happening when you need them most. Okay. 
Uh, bargaining skill, which is brings down the price you pay and puts up your selling price. Very good altogether. And here's strength. Increase the amount of things you can carry. Look at that buff man right there. Uh, so yes, melee skill. Obviously press B, we can use the melee and just jab the zombies. Here are some zombies. We shoot them with our weapon. We can also jab them. So, if you increase melee, you actually gain more... Um, more damage when you jab them, pretty much, with your gun. You can actually kill them by, uh, by jabbing them with your gun. And, for some reason, all these zombies have money. Let's have a look. What do you want? I'm looking for a Chambers Sawn-Off shotgun. I'll be willing to pay 725. Do you have one? No, you have a Chambers shotgun, not a Sawn-Off. Okay. How about you? What do you want? So, when it comes to these traders, uh, they do have uh, Wanted, for example. They, they're they both looking for Sawn-Off shotguns. Okay. Uh, doesn't really help me very much. So, what you buying? What are you buying? Well, we can get weapons here, like a Chambers handgun, Chambers bolt action rifle. Obviously, as you can... Well, bolt action handgun or whatever. Um, as you can plainly tell, these are all named after characters from the first Resident Evil. Yes, we have uh, Rebecca Chambers, Chris Redfield, Barry Burton, uh, Jill Valentine, and last but not least, there is one about Wesker. So, um, yeah, we also have some throwing weapons, like a flare. An emergency flare, okay. Uh, an incendiary, incendiary grenade. Uh, it's a grenade. Pull the pin, it goes bang. Cheers for that. We have some items, med kits, which are very nice. Valuables. I don't want any of that. A can of mystery meat. Does nothing. Pretty much the valuables don't do anything. And lastly, box of shells. Oh, we might be needing those at some point. What weapon do I currently have? I have a chamber shotgun. Which is in red. So, um, when it comes to the guns, uh, you can only use, uh, shells or bullets or ammunition or whatever, um, on the same colour as your gun. For example, since my gun is red, uh, I can't use the green or the blue bullets in it. But I can use the box of shells. So I'm gonna take one of these. There we go, box of 24 shells. I think that'll be enough for the moment, thank you. Let's go! We have 61 ammo. Let's do this. We're all dead. I am still alive. Shoot! Pew pew! Pew pew! Ooh. There's another trade. How many traders do you need? Jab him! Yes! What do you want? Do you want a sawn off as well? Everyone wants a sawn off! Nah. Never mind. Bubs! Kind of wanted a drink there, but never mind, we can't. You can search store for a can of mystery meat, a, oh, a small med kit, and a sleeping bag. Great. And here we have junk food and a box of a hundred for a carbine. Very nice. Or the green weapon, if you want to be technical about it. But I believe it's for things like submachine guns, pretty much. SMGs. So that's actually fairly good. The SMGs are actually really good in this game. They take a lot of bullets, but they do maul enemies. That will just maul you. I just got 10 kills. Nice. My kill combo is currently three. Now it's four. Let's get moving. Search the church for a painkiller. A small bag of cash, which is nice. And a box of 25.5 bullets. Nice. Five and a half bullets. Very nice indeed. All right. I don't know why a church would have bullets, but never mind. Die. At the hands of me. Weird little dude. The only survivor of the toxic waste. The reason is he's actually an alcoholic. That's how he survived. He literally drank nothing but booze all day. Specifically gin. He likes his gin. Let's just shoot you. Boom. I am slowly running out of ammo. And I don't think I'm getting enough from shooting these guys. I'm getting a fair amount, actually. No, I think I'll be alright. Shoot! You pew with my gun. I should start using my melee just a little bit more, though. There we go. Don't need to use my gun here. I could just sh smack this guy. Oh, oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, I've completely forgot about that. Okay. Search the house for more shells, a painkiller and a lighter. Okay. 
The lighter counts as a valuable, you can't like burn the zombies or whatever. There is a weapon you can burn the zombies with. Uh, but that might be a lot later. We got a pack of berries and a chamber's handgun. Now we can swap to our another weapon by using the left or right on the D-pad. So the chamber's handgun does more damage, but our uh, chamber shotgun allows us to deal um, piercing damage to anyone behind. Uh, I didn't even need to bother with you. That's fine. Let's go. Andes! What have you got, Andes? Can of mystery meat. Three of them. Very nice. Hello. I want you to all get bunched up. And they get shot! By the power of the shotgun! Yeah! Oh, switch to my handgun. Just murder them. There we go. Alright. Let's go. Jab him. Technically, I'm just shoving him away now with my hand. Which is a good thing, actually, because I've now just got some disinfectant. That's fine. So we're on 90 health right now. We're doing okay. We've just completed the first level. 19 streets away from salvation. Sadler Street. Zombies killed. 37. Very nice indeed. Let's get moving, guy. Oh, oh, it's a spitter. That thing at the bottom there? There he is. He's a spitter. We don't like him. Oh, critical on jabbing him. There we go. He's a spitter. He does give me more money, though, which is good. More shells. Very nice for my uh, chamber shotgun. What we get? Adrenaline, which is good. A uh, bottle of water and a two cuddly toys. Yes. So what the adrenaline does, the adrenaline is actually an item and it allows you to run faster. Which is very good if you want to get places. Like if you're, like what I did uh, during the initial video I did. Um, I was so close to the end of the game, I just used an adrenaline and just fired straight in there and... To be honest, one. Hopefully that happens again today. I'm just gonna shove him a bit. Yo, dude! Bad touch! Yamate! Bitch. Right. Let's see what we got in here. Search store. Ah, bottle of water and another cuddly toy. Well, at least I'm gonna be incredibly hydrated. I don't know why, when the toxic spillage is in the water supply, people still have bottles of water. And why am I taking them? Whoa, and why do people sell them? That's a lot of people. Uh, pew! 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 Good. Alright. Got a lot of money there. I'm considering actually just taking these guys out. Boom. Boom again. Yes! Go, my friend! Shoot them! I want the money. Give me the money. I don't care if I take a hit. Oh, it's a spitter. Nope. 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 Nope! Not having any of that. Yeah, so the, uh, the shotgun, or oh, the hanger doesn't do any piercing damage, which kind of sucks, Babbles. What do you want? You're looking for a Molotov cocktail. You'd be willing to pay 500 for it. Do you have a Molotov on sale? No. Oh, well. Right, let's sell my valuables. Sleeping bag, pack of batteries, all that stuff. I had 1566. I now have 2747. Very nice. And that's just from all the crap I've been getting. And my load has gone down as well, which is great. Right. Let's get a box of shells. Some more bullets. And I think I'm going to get an upgrade. Um, I should have probably got the bargaining skill earlier. Um, so I'm actually going to... I'm going to take it now. And I'm also going to take... Weapon skill. There we go. Right, let's go! Search store for more bullets! Oh, it gets better. Boom! Boom! Jab you! Right. So now, I deal more damage with my weapon. Which is nice. And my bargaining skill, which is also going to be very good. Shoot! Shoot! The old-fashioned shotty! Oh, look at that! That was, a, that was a fair amount of money I just got there, which is good. Oh, it's another spitter. I don't care about you. I'm just going to run. Chambers shotgun. Can of mystery meats and small med kit. I'll take it. I'm actually going to go into my inventory here. Which... I have, a... oh, I have two chamber shotguns now. Ah, oh, nice. I can sell one of those. That's good. Boom. Pew, pew. My chamber's handgun. Oh. There we go. You're dead. I'm just going <laughs> to jab you a bit. I'll do it. Right, let's see what we got in here, shall we? Another chamber shotgun. Wow, I'm getting a load of those. 
Right, yo, trader. Welcome, stranger. You are also looking for a Molotov cocktail. I think all the streets have got different things they want. So let's sell two of my chamber's shotguns. Because I don't need them. And my valuables. You can get rid of those. Alright, what do you got? We've got another chamber shotgun. Okay, we've got the Redfield Eagle. Um, okay. Uh, what have we got here? Just double checking. We have a chamber's handgun. Which is there. So does damage 42, uh, range 660, fire rate 1. Um, just double checking here. Do, 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 do. Right, that does less damage. That does more damage. I'm going to take the Redfield Eagle. Thank you. And I'm going to sell my Chambers handgun. Because this does more. Like, everything. Let's see how much this new gun does. 49! That'll do for me, I think. My good old handgun. Ho oh, ho ho, I can kill these guys in one hit. Screw all of you! And you, spitter! I think I'm going to leave this for the spitters, because I don't really like them very much. Chambers handgun and a Redfield bolt action. How much does the bolt action do? I know it does piercing damage, so that's good. It's alright, I guess. Oh, alright. I want that, I want that, thank you. I'm going to go back, actually. I'm going to go back and summon stuff, because this could get annoying quick. So, yeah. Ow, thank you. Appreciated. In fact, for that... Meet the power of my gun! Alright. Send to trader. Her uh, weapons. The Redfield Eagle's the one I want, so let's get rid of it. Do I have to change it? That's better. Right. Apparently I have to change it, so... Yeah, let's get rid of that. That actually has penetration, it's okay, but no, nah, I'll leave it. Right, let's get some upgrades. Can't get bargaining skill. I'm going to increase my max health, I think. There you go, increase my max health. Now I have 200 max health instead of 100. And it also increased my health. I was on 60, I'm now on 160. Which is very nice. Right, let's get moving. Very slowly, but we'll definitely be getting there. Alright guys, I'm going for a break here. We're about to about 17 minutes or whatever. But in the next episode of Let's Play uh, Dead Pixels, we'll be 18 streets away. We'll be doing Politia Street. I'll see you then.